Hey guys, so it's finally a new video. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Uh, so first of all, sorry that I didn't really cover anything for the past uh, three days since I believe Friday up until now, essentially. Um, just been extremely busy, hardly got any sleep. And on top of that, I got a cold. So just since my nose is like trigger happy, if I blow my nose a little too hard, like, it takes, starts bleeding for, like, half a minute, so that's always fun, um, but, yeah, I've been just really busy, um, I crashed yesterday, and then on Friday, I didn't sleep at all for, like, 24 hours, crashed that day, uh, Saturday, same thing, didn't sleep until, like, uh, I believe 24 hours after I'd woken up, um, and then finally, someday, I went to work again, which was a bitch and a half, because I was just extremely sleep-deprived, so, yeah, I really didn't have any energy just to make these videos. Um, but first and foremost, so, sorry that I didn't cover the last event, but it is the Naruto Zumaki Hinata Hyuga event. Um, so, basically, it's just a Naruto Hinata um, event. You can get some Valentine's Day skins for Naruto and for Hinata. Um, uh, you can get the uh, combo skin Fight for Love. Uh, I believe you can get it for free, not in the shop, but in the uh, event. At least that's what they did for, um, oh no, you can still do a sealed Kimimato and all that crap. Um, oh, you have to recharge for it. That's unfortunate. Um, you can still do, uh, sealed Taiyuya, sealed, all of that stuff for, um, like getting the, you know, those guys. Um, but yeah, Reborn Hinata is coming up. Uh, so basically you can get these skins, uh, you need to recharge for them essentially. <laughs> for the White Valentine's Day, um, you can get the combination card uh, yesterday, actually, unfortunately. Um, there was a triple combination card. Um, does massive damage to all enemies. Has a chance to release <sighs> the debuff of the Nine Tailed Beast. Uh, um, deal different damage level according to the power of the Tailed Beast for one round. Um, need to hit. So, I mean, that's a triple combination card, which is fairly good. I mean,. It's Naruto and Hinata. Both of them have gone to Diamond Reborn. So very powerful cards if you can swing it. Um, Yeah, I mean, there isn't that whole much new except for the combination card itself. Um, It looks like only yesterday you could have gotten the skin for Naruto. Um, uh, Yeah, otherwise you would have to recharge quite a bit just to get the... Uh, Fire of Heritage, which is a triple combination card. You have to recharge uh, 6200 which is essentially uh, $200. Um, that was yesterday, unfortunately. It's going to come up again someday. Don't worry. Um, it might just take about half a year, maybe three or four months to come back. But it's going to come back eventually. <laughs> it always does. Um, if you recharge today uh, for 500 gold, you can get the skin for Hinata. But keep in mind, they're just skins. They're not really, uh, they're cosmetic of anything at most. Nothing else really. If you do gold ten draw, you're going to get a purple card Hinata, which is kind of makes sense. Hinata seems to be mostly the focus for this particular uh, event. Um, you can do, if you do a, uh, just a gold draw, you're going to get a Toad Sage, which is cool. If you recharge 3,100 gold, um, every 3,100 gold you recharge, you get one Naruto gold. Um, <laughs> or at least I believe it's not. It's either a purple card Naruto or a gold Naruto, although I do think it's a purple card Naruto, but in this final training form. Um, yeah, I mean, recharging, you can get a rare ore, which is surprising because they rarely ever hand it out anymore. Um... <laughs> You can get the tier 5 certificates for Hinata's items, but you need to recharge quite a bit if you want all of them. Um, at 3,100 gold, I do believe that you get all of them, and then after that, you don't really get anything except for training materials um, for both Hinata and Naruto. If you can, if you want to consume, most of Hinata's items are fairly powerful. It's just that, quite honestly, if you're not using her, she they're not very good. Not only that... Um, but it doesn't look like Naruto's items are in there, which is strange because they generally are whenever it comes to an event between those two. Um, 
yeah, I mean, you can get Naruto's. Okay, yeah, you can get Naruto stuff. That's good. Um, you can get the multiple shadow clone and all that crap, which is very good, quite honestly. If you have to choose between multiple shadow clone and demon fox cloak, go for multiple shadow clone. As a rule of thumb, um, it's a lot better to have offense rather than defense, which is what demon fox cloak is. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks like that's really about it for the events. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh what's it called um daily q a uh well q a at this point because i've been missing it for so long um i might actually just go ahead and actually try on this one on diamond hinata just to get her to diamond and not have to worry about that later right now she's uh silver for me um got quite a few mat a few of her mats so it should be fairly simple if i get number one to get her to diamond Hopefully I do, but I mean, not going to be too upset if I don't. Um, okay, so let's just uh, collect my rewards for the day, and uh, there we go. Sorry if my voice just sounds horrible or uh, stifled. I'm really sick and tired of this cold. Mm. Uh, okay, so there we go. Oh yeah, and I just literally woke up like... I I was asleep, and then I woke up, come back, and I am back. So cool. That's cool, I guess. Um, uh, so how do you uh, get CP without VAP? Um, just about everything in this game gives you CP. If you level up your items, that gives you a little bit of CP. If you train up your cards up to diamond, gold, silver, or whatever. If you train up your cards, you get a little bit of CP. Um... The thing is, is that the bigger CP rewards that you want, like the higher gains, essentially, um, you're going to usually have to drop quite a bit of A, gold, uh, B, money, or C, both of them. Uh, the thing is, is that, for example, if you reinforce an item, you get a tiny little bit of CP. It's usually, it's not that noticeable. Um, but if you go ahead and reinforce that same item 10 times instead of getting like maybe 1k CP, um, you'll notice that you get 10, 20 KCP simply because of how much it's being reinforced. Um, just be diligent, get collections. Collections are usually one of the biggest and fastest ways to get CP. But though, keep in mind, collections are very, very, um, like, either recharge or time extensive. So, for example, the three legendary ninja, you have to consume quite a bit of gold just to get over there. Um, whereas, like, let's say Naruto Boruto. Uh, Naruto Boruto Sarada collection that used to be gold now it's diamond and diamond even though it's more it's a more powerful collection now uh, diamond Boruto diamond um, Sarada diamond uh, Mitsuki and then those three together plus the gold uh, mad scientist that just cost a lot of stamina to get for free and not to mention a lot of rare ore so yeah um, every little bit helps essentially just the higher you go, the the harder it is it is to level up or uh, get more CP. Uh, yes, you will. It's Kason. Sorry about that. Um, but you have to have a diamond. Um, so basically, um, if you have diamond, you're gonna get all the rewards under that, including the diamond reward. If you have the gold, if you have gold, you're gonna get all the rewards for whatever card you get. Uh, gold. Uh, all the way going down, including gold and so on and so forth. Um, but if you have diamond, you get all of the di all of the rewards, including diamond. So you'll be fine. Please help. How do I get Toad Bunta for the Naruto Jiraiya's weapon? So the thing is, is that if you're a brand new player, um, and you get the Toad Scroll, um, essentially you kind of just have to wait for a Jiraiya event if you want to get it for free. Um, more often than not, now. They actually give away, um, well, not give away, but they do give uh, for consumption rewards, fairly low consumption rewards, actually. Um, the tier 3 or even tier 4 scroll, um, I wonder if they have it here. They actually should have it during this event. Sorry, that's a reborn thing. I'm a bob. So we're going to go over here to event, and we're going to go, oh, let's see. Uh, so let's see, that's all powerful scrolls, nope, no, nope. sage cloak, huh, they don't have it on here, that is strange, 
Um, usually to get the Toad Bunto, you actually have to wait during a Jiraiya event. That's when you can get it from a dungeon for free. Keep in mind, though, that dungeon is actually fairly difficult, especially if you're a new player. Um, if you're a fairly powerful player like I am, it is cake. But if you're a new player, it's actually one of, going to be one of the more difficult ones because I do believe you have to fight Jiraiya, if I recall correctly. Um, so, yeah. Um... Quite honestly, like I said, um, for the person on top, just work on something. Uh, work on getting your reinforced your items all the way up to their max um max uh, level. Get work on um uh, getting them up higher. For example, Kisame, you can go to Diamond. Work on getting that to Diamond. If you have a uh, Bronze Naruto, work on getting him to Gold or Diamond. If you have a bronze Gara, work on getting him to diamond. That's going to boost your CP. It's going to take a long time to do so, but because you don't recharge, quite honestly, you're not going to be able to uh, do so quickly. If you don't recharge in this game, it's actually very hard to move up very fast um, when it comes to CP. Another thing, the seven tails, it is very, very easy. If anything, you're going to have a lot of trouble with the eight tails. So basically what you want to do with the seven tails is deal Genjutsu damage. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and put in my strongest Genjutsu user, which is actually Shisui. Um, let me go ahead and find him. And there we go. So we have uh, Shisui right there. And he is going to have the honor of fighting the Seven Tails by himself. He deals Genjutsu damage. So watch what happens in this battle. He gets this straight now. Um, so yeah, there you go. Actually, now that I think about it, Orochimaru would have been a better example because of his skin. But in general, um, Shisui can do quite a bit of damage. And because it's all Genjutsu damage, I mean, it all goes through to the eight, the seven tails without any sort of defense bonus. Um, so essentially, the point is the seven tails is vulnerable to Genjutsu. You can still um, do a lot of damage using debuffs. Such as the Naruto um, Shadow Clones, the um, Naruto uh, in no, the Naruto's uh, the Nine Tail debuffs, um, the Sasuke Zamatoratsu, um stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, as a rule of thumb, it's a lot easier to do it with just pure Genjutsu damage. Um, this battle should already be over, but because he has a lot of um, uh, chakra and keeps on using his Agtisko, which is Ninjutsu damage. I'm um, just really slowing it down. And even so, he's still dealing a very decent amount of damage. So, there you go. A little disappointed in Shisui. I would have thought that he would have been able to destroy the Seven Tails. But, I mean, that was just a miscalculation on my part. Um, Let's see. Uh, Stun the back row. Save your money. There is a... Why do you have Tamari fan? Oh, okay. So, I just have a lot of sh random shit on, like, different people. Um, I might, no, nah, I mean, it's, I might have gotten the combination card, but it's a little too late now. It really is. Uh, but yeah, I don't recharge as much as I do, used to at the very least. Um, eh. Yeah, I'm gonna reference most of the video for Q&A. Day. Um, I'm not just gonna, like, oh yeah, so I'll just cover this video and you guys will be fine. No, I'm gonna go ahead and do this bit. This video here and then the video before that uh, for Q&A because there are quite a few guys ask questions. Do you think the Power of Two Eyes combination card in Diamonds Kakashi are better than CC and Obito's? What should it be? The formation of an Ninja World War? PvP if there's Power of Two Eyes or a... Okay, so the Flying Thunder God combination card is an extremely powerful combination card simply because it has Minato and, um, the, and Tobirama. Uh, the thing about those two is that they have a very strong propensity to deal a lot of damage very fast and very quickly. Now, the thing about your uh, question about the power of two eyes and Diamond Kakashi is it better than combination card? And Obito, um, yeah, simply because Kakashi can usually stun the front row. <sighs> Whereas Obito doesn't. And even then, you have to rely on Obito to just kind of um, release his unique skill uh later rather than sooner 
Um, keep in mind, between the two, the combination card and Kakashi, one of them has to release on the first round and the other has to release on the second round. It's a lot easier to have Kakashi release on the first round and the combination card release on the second. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just kind of depends, quite honestly. If you are able to get that to happen, then you're going to be fine if you have the active skill. If not, then you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Now, PvP... Um, one of the better skills for the power of two eyes is just the active skill Mangekyo Kamui. Um, if you can put that on him and you go first and you have a large amount of hit, more often than not, you're going to win simply because your enemy won't be able to do jack shit up against you. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't always, uh, even if it hits, it doesn't always trigger simply because it's not a 100% guaranteed uh, debuff. It has a very high chance of being, uh, you know, activated. But every once in a while, there is a strong chance that it doesn't get activated. So don't rely on it too much. On the other event, what does it say for the bottom where it says you will search for fragments in this event? Um, yeah. Let's see what it was. Uh, I mean, Colton, I can't really say that, you know... Whoops, I did not mean that. But, I mean, wow. Stubby fingers. I can't really say that I, uh, really, uh, um, I can't say that I don't care. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you have to realize, like, I need to have my priorities straight. I either focus on my family and my responsibilities with them, or I focus with this. Uh, as much as it may sting or as much as it may uh, um, seem unfair or even just me being cold to you guys, I have to focus on either my family or you guys, nine times out of ten, I'm going to focus on them. They are my family and I'd tear the world apart just to keep them happy. So... I'm sorry that I wasn't able to tell you about that, but quite honestly, I had other responsibilities at the time. There you go. Um, so let's see. Uh, here we go, and let's see. This is the video that really should have been Q and A. Uh, let's see. Best free to play cards. I've got Team Seven, Obito, Hinata, Kamo Card, Kisame, Kabuto. You seem to have gotten all of them. <sighs> Actually, that are fairly easy, but the problem with that is that you need a lot of gold and you need a lot, a lot of time and stamina. Um, keep on working on getting, uh, get them all to diamond. Essentially, they're going to be very useful later on. Kisame and Kabuto in particular, they have the ability to stun. Well, not stun, but silence quite often. That can be very useful. Uh, the combo art card I'm personally not very sure about, but I mean, it is a CP booster for you, so there you go. How good is for and wind card? Is it worth using it? I am fairly sure I did a, com a showcase a couple of days uh, uh, before that about that particular com about that card. Uh, let's see, 7 Ninja. I'll, I'll link a video on it, but it's fairly decent. I mean, right about now, it's mostly only for uh, stun locking if you have to focus on the line. And even then, um, it's mostly for defense simply because it provides some very decent shields. Not only that, when it comes down to it, um, it really isn't that powerful unless you have all the items. Once again, even then, it's still a mech combination card. Uh, Gara is mostly for reinforcement, so I wouldn't recommend investing too much if you're going to put Gara in as a reinforcement, but if you're going to have Shikamaru or somebody, like, as the main reinforcement commander, then go ahead and go wild. Uh, the combination card itself has a decent amount of CP. I could actually bring mine up to, like, 7, uh, nearly 8 million CP, but just keep in mind that it's very limited when it comes to damage. And, let's see, um... Naruto has a reborn skin. Yeah, I I got told. I don't know. I don't really like the reborn skin. I mean, here, look. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Uh, 
let's see, let's see, there we go, I mean, uh, I kind of would have rathered something a little bit sh more, I guess, because, <gasps> like, I mean, look at Sasuke's, and that just looks awesome as fuck, but I, I guess, I guess, I would have, I would have preferred, like, uh, I don't know, something different, I like it, though, it's, it's okay, but, I mean, I expected something a little bit more. No, you're welcome, Nathan. There you go. Uh, oh, doesn't my work on the combination card? You have to put them on both cards. So if you put a Curse of the Wrath level five on both cards, then it's gonna release on the first, uh, first, um, first turn. Uh, if you put Curse of the Wrath level four, um, it should still release on the first turn, I believe. But if you put a Curse of the Wrath level three on both of them, that's gonna take one or two turns just to release its unique skill um combination cards are in those in that kind of weird state where you can't exactly rely on um what do you call it on curse seals to work on them perfectly you have to rely on the cur you have to almost um build them up with uh using individual uh cards to get what you want it to uh how do reinforcement works and do certain cards only help certain uh cards yes so reinforcement what it does is essentially let's say they have a very extensive library like i do so i happen to have a diamond kabuto diamond kakashi diamond all this right um what reinforcement does is i have the ability to put in let's say diamond kabuto into the reinforcement now he doesn't reinforce everybody what he does is he reinforces sasuke and orochimaru specifically now, depending on how much CP my Kabuto has, that's how much extra CP my Sasuke and Orochimaru is going to have. To give you an idea, let's say that I have um, 4 million CP on Kabuto. Um, so, Sasuke and Orochimaru, as a rule of thumb, are going to get about, give or take a couple hundred, hundred thousand, about 1 million worth of CP extra because I put them in reinforcement. Now, keep in mind that is a rather extreme example, but as they keep on releasing reborn cards, that's going to become larger and larger. Um, uh, so, you just go ahead to actually open them. You just go ahead and go to the main menu, go to formation, and then deploy formation, deploy reinforcements. And then you can go ahead and choose who you want in there. Um, as, as far as I know, these are all the reinforcement cards you can get. Obviously, they're in different states of training. But these are all of them. I think I'm only missing one, which is my Mabui, which reinforces the uh, Killer B and uh, Raikage A. So there you go. Um, yeah. So, okay, here, let me go ahead and say which cards reinforce which cards. Um, let's see. So Rin reinforces Kagashi and Obito. Yamato reinforces Sasuke, Sakura, and Sai. Shikamaru um, reinforces Naruto, I believe. Um, the Kinkaku and Ginkaku brothers reinforce Tatoi. Uh, the Itachi and reinforces Sasuke and um, Naruto, I believe. And Jisui, although don't quote me on the Naruto one. Um, Gara reinforces essentially the whole team if you have them in the commander slot. But I do believe he focuses on uh, Naruto mostly. Um... The Chio uh, reinforces Gara. Um, Kisame reinforces Itachi. And I believe that would be about it. The Kabuto reinforces Orochimaru and Sasuke. Uh, Yusuke, I believe his name. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, that was way off. Karama uh, reinforces, uh, what's it called? Tobidama and Hashirama. And then Mabui reinforces Killer B and um, Raikage A. Uh, that's really the only one that I'm missing out of all the reinforcements, as far as I know. Oh, uh, that sucks, Justin. Uh, is it better to have Gold Kakashi first, or to save my gold for the best Toby and Hashid on my event? I have 13k gold. Um, just save it up, quite honestly. Um, you can always get the training materials for Kakashi, you know, uh, for Kakashi sooner rather than later, or later rather than sooner. Um, it's the Tobidama and Hashirama that you really have to watch out for. It's a little harder to get their, um, uh, not only their items, but just their training materials. I mean, but I mean, it's up to you either way. If you feel like you're going to get more gold, uh, in the long run by golding Kakashi first, then go ahead and do so. 
Oh, I'm sorry for uh, the 10, 12. It happened sometimes. I didn't realize that my alarm was going to go off. Um, but And I forgot to put it in the video, I believe, the uh, description. Which reminds me, I do have a brand new link from the developers on how to, where to download the game. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in this description. Uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, I noticed. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, is there a good Sunlock team on a skilled ninja world team I can use with Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Ito, and Tamari? The other possible would be... Um, putting Kakashi first, uh, then Tamari, then uh, Orochimaru, then Naruto, then Sasuke, and finally... No, 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 no. I got putting Kakashi, Mitsuki, then Orochimaru, then Sasuke... Then now is Kakashi Tamari. No, Kakashi Mitsuki Tamari. Then um, Sasuke Naruto and Orochimaru. Although put in Orochimaru before Sasuke Naruto. So the order should be uh, Kakashi uh, Mitsuki Tamari. Then on the back row would be Orochimaru, Naruto, and Sasuke. That should get you a little further. Don't quote me, though, simply because I don't really know your team personally. Could get you further. Could get you a lot less further. Uh, That sucks, man. Uh, It really is just a fucking... A grind for his fucking stuff. Um, He is worth it. It's just that getting him all the way up to his fucking final forms... It's just a fucking bitch and a half. It's gonna, you're gonna cry when you realize how much fucking gold ore you, I mean, a rare ore you need to diamond him. Ah, uh, it was bad. Um, let's see. Uh, uh if you're looking for damage output, then. Uh, Jiraiya Naruto simply because it's going to get you further. That's really the biggest goal here. Um, if you go one stage further in Ninja World War than you usually go, then it's a lot better to do so. Because that, it, like, you don't really notice it day per day, but it increases how much, very, very much, how much gold you get. Uh, any way to form some luck with any kind with Jiraiya, combo card teacher, Ashirama would be gold. Third Hokage with yeah. See the problem with these uh those cards for example for at the very least Third Hokage, Colton, is that all of his stuns are random, and let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So I actually did mine and just get him to diamond. I got all of his items, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how he works or what he does. So we're gonna go ahead and put him. You just got that. And he has all of his exclusive item, all of his exclusive items except for, if I can find it, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Okay, so he has all of his exclusive items, and we're gonna go actually ahead and do um. Inazami's activation should be fine. So that's that he does that. He falls the back row. He does that. And see how much he stunned. Or as it were, how little he actually stunned. He did the back row, which is impressive, but I get the feeling even the back row is very rare. Not only that, um out of the six he only stunned one. Uh, when it came to his other skills. So I mean for the back row he can be reliable. If you have his passive skill. But for the front row. Not so much. Um, so yeah. Yeah see like. One out of six. And even then. Um, it's very rare. So I mean you could probably switch. If you have him fully geared out with his passive skills, maybe go ahead and put him in as a replacement for Mitsuki. But Mitsuki's a lot easier to get. Uh, 
Oh, cool. Thanks, Amir. It's nice to know that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of shitty, though. I would have really expected, like you said, for everything to be sealed. But these developers can be a little bit greedy. And, I mean, you know how they are. Is there a way that you can transfer? Nope. I didn't even have to finish reading that. But, yeah, no. Yeah. I know iOS is, like, really OP. Let's be real here. It's because they drop a lot more cash into it. Which is essentially what this game is sometimes, quite honestly. Yeah, no worries. It's fine. Run it. You guys can post as many comments as you guys want. That's fine. Um. So, yeah, there we go. Um. This video is a little beefy. Hopefully, it's at least 30 minutes. Feels like it. Um, sorry for the wait. I know it can be frustrating, but I just had a lot of shit to do. Um, okay, so Friday, I think I stayed up a full 24 hours. I went to work like that. No, it was Thursday. Yeah, there we go. So Thursday, I woke up and I stayed up the full 24. Managed to get some decent sleep. Then I went to work on Friday and I went in at 5 in the morning, and I got out at 6 in... I mean, I went in at 5 in the afternoon, and I got out at 5 in the morning. More like 6 in the morning, to be honest. So I did about 4 hours overtime. Um, mm -hmm. and then after that, I stayed up just until... I believe it was... 9 in the afternoon, 10 in the afternoon, on Saturday. So that was a doozy. Um, then Sunday, I just, uh, went to sleep, and I woke up at about 8 in the morning. I went with my family, ran some errands, took them out to go eat, um, just bought my sister clothes, my brother some stuff, um, my dad some clothes once again, my mom a little bit of jewelry. Then I went ahead and I went to work at essentially 7 in the afternoon. Stayed there, um, I started feeling sick, coughing, and then I also had to move all of my stuff because they replaced, uh, what do you call it, like they switched departments for my company, so I had to move a lot of stuff that was just miscellaneous items, but that took some time, um, I had to move the cases personally, so I had to go back and forth between evaluation and all the way to my workstation, so yeah, I mean, it was, they weren't, it, they weren't horrible days, but I did have to I did have to go ahead and just do a lot of crap in a very small amount of time and with a very small amount of sleep. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm sorry uh, since I didn't help out for a couple of days, but uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, with a new video. Bye.